One small step for man. One giant leap for mankind. One giant leap indeed. Watching man's first steps on the moon. Hearing those iconic words here on Earth. Those who remember describe it as one of the greatest things they've ever seen. And technology developed by General Dynamics made it so. When our team was first creating the Apollo system, we were creating history. These things had never been done before to communicate not only voice and data, but to communicate video from the moon. And so making history in the face of extreme environmental challenges, communicating through the cold and the heat associated with space travel, figuring out how to fit that in an adequate package that didn't take up too much power, engineering through myriad problems to make it work in concert with the spacecraft was an amazing feat that was unmatched in its day and really was unmatched for a very long time in history. What most people don't think about is that these astronauts were entirely dependent on our radio as their lifeline to Earth. There was no fallback plan. And so when you think of the gravity of that mission for us at the day, and even to this very day, the missions we do to support warfighters require dependence on those products that cannot be questioned. General Dynamics has been a part of virtually every space exploration mission, giving the world an up-close and personal look at our solar system and beyond our galaxy. We've taken those capabilities and most every deep space probe that's out there has our radios on it. The probes and rovers that are in Mars also carry our communications equipment. These capabilities become even more important as other countries make strides into space and protecting our nation's critical assets becomes even more of a priority. As we recognize that our, that our near-peer adversaries are out looking for ways to outpace us. They're looking for ways to outpace us in innovation, in capability. They're also looking for ways to access our systems. They're also looking for ways to break into our security so they can disrupt us. And so there's a lot of innovation that has to happen in how do we take what already exists and adapt it to be able to respond to an unplanned event? How do we architect new systems so that they can withstand and, and still operate under an unplanned event. Fortunately, innovation is what General Dynamics does best, and the company is looking into the future for the next technology breakthrough. We're shifting our attention to the future, and the future is quantum. Quantum communications is, is what's gonna get us into the future. We here at General Dynamics are investing, and we have some of the brightest minds in the country, trying to figure out how we harness quantum communications and how we are able to now implement it for communications both on a spacecraft and on the ground. And that's a future. That's a future of where we need to go as a, as a country in support of, again, not just the intelligence community, the Department of Defense, and NASA, our customer. General Dynamics has been protecting the nation's most important information for more than 60 years, and they're relying on the power of quantum to continue that legacy. Quantum allows you to detect uh, the presence of an eavesdropper, detect the presence uh, and the interference of an eavesdropper in a communication link. Once you've been able to establish a link and you know that the information exchange across that link is, has not been intercepted, you can, you can generate a secure key. Once you have that information, now you can encode other information using that key using one-time pad encryption. And that, that makes it unbreakable, it's unhackable. And so it is a forever type of encryption. If you need to protect information for extended periods of time, conceivably forever, you never want an adversary to, to know what that information is, uh, you could use quantum along with one-time pad encryption to, to provide that capability. And that's not all quantum can do, not by a long shot. Quantum uh, is now enabling us to detect incredibly weak signals that uh, previously we, we, we could not have detected. What that means is that we can see much further back over long, much longer distances. And for space-based applications in particular, being able to look back further, look back to that very, you know, to the very beginning of time itself to see what, you know, what was happening in the universe is something that, that quantum will help enable. Using features or properties of quantum states 
we can increase the performance of our receivers, our, our sensors, by factors of, of hundreds to thousands, potentially 10,000 uh, times the, the, what their current capabilities are. Can you imagine, you know, yes, we, we will be able to see maybe the presence of a biological molecule or something in, in an atmosphere, but what if it was fine enough, the resolution, that you could actually see life itself? Seeing the origins of life, detecting life in other places, sound like science fiction? It's closer than you think. Quantum is not science fiction. Quantum is here and it's happening now. We're exploring architectures, we're exploring enabling technologies, we're specifically looking at applications that our customers care about. Um, we're trying to help them understand better uh, where quantum can make a difference. Making a difference for their customers. It's what General Dynamics has always done and will continue to do. We were the first to bring the words giant leap for mankind to the earth. And Giant Leap has always been on the minds of our engineers and leaders in the organization. Going forward, we know we'll have to continue to make leaps to stay at the top of our game. From the first steps on the moon to the next great leap in space, General Dynamics was there then, and they're ready for the future.